1971, the philosopher Judith Jarvis Thompson wrote one of the most famous philosophy papers ever, in which she asks us to consider a very weird scenario. So imagine that it's a woman who wakes up and somehow this violinist who has some kind of need for dialysis or some kind of need for yep. to be attached to her body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is parasitic upon her mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. she wakes up and she's now connected to him. If yep. she removes him from herself, yep. he will perish and die. Yep. Yep. Is she morally obligated to yep. stay attached to him for, let's say, nine months? Mm -hmm. um, what should she do? And, sh and could we ever blame her if she mm -hmm. wanted to detach yep. that violinist from her? So it's, it's a really great question, and analogies are, are fine. It doesn't have to be identical to be valid. Uh, the question is, is it an appropriate analogy? Um, and a, a number of points, I think it's, it's actually not. Um, firstly, if I was standing on the street and a child walked past me, someone else's kid, and walked around the corner and something bad happened to them, say they, they got hit by a car, people would not hold me accountable. Why? Because it's not my kid. That's just a stranger... Um, However, if it was my own child, say it was a three-year-old, and say I, I, I w walked into a shop and just left my three-year-old out there, you know, because I only want to get something sorted, and, and I come back and she's been abducted, mm. or something's happened to her, mm. rightly I'd be held accountable. Mm, that's negligence. It's negligence. But it's negligence because it's my own child. And we all intuitively know, and there's a, there's a legal distinction uh, between your, your obligations to your own child, your offspring, and your obligations to a stranger. Hmm. And one way in which this analogy breaks down is, um, I mean, I don't know how, how people's sort of um, biology is, but this isn't where babies come from. Hmm. They aren't randomly strapped to you overnight. Yeah. Um, they're your offspring. And that leads me on to, I guess, a second point. that, 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 that There's a difference in relationship. You know, your own child, you have certain obligations, duty of care, and we've established already that it's a living human being. They are already your child. You have a duty of care. But, but, but that leads on to another point, which is, you know, where do babies come from? They don't come out of thin air. Mm -hmm. and, and, and yes, there, there is the very difficult, and thankfully, at least in this country, very rare comparatively case of, of rape, you know, where, where it is not the product of consensual sex, but the overwhelming majority is the product of consent, consensual sex. Mm -hmm. That's where babies come from. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's not like this 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 thing is just uh, strapped to you against your will. N nothing you did to 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 make that a possibility or a likelihood. Uh, babies come from sex, mm. and so it is a, a baby is a natural consequence of sex, which is overwhelmingly um, consensual in the cases which which lead to abortion in this country. Mm. Um, and, and that would lead again to another point, which is um, the womb is the natural environment for a baby to develop in. Now, the, the analogy you give me, the violinist, it's a very unnatural, very strange um, scenario, um, which, you know, in, in today's world, we can imagine it may be happening. Um, you know, science has moved on to such a, to such an extent that, yeah, perhaps, you know, someone could keep someone else alive. if They've got a special blood type or whatever. And so, so I'm not saying that couldn't exist i'm saying it's not really what pregnancy is like yes yeah uh, that's artificial pregnancy is ever so natural it's where we all came from we yeah. all grew up in the earlier stages in that womb the, the natural place and so whilst um the violinist story uh, talks about an unnatural way to keep someone alive at that personal cost um pregnancy is absolutely natural mm. and the unnatural thing to do is to break entry into the womb the place of safety and development for the for the youngest of our society and and kill them mm. that's the unnatural thing mm. that mm. is the invasion that's the intervention yes letting nature run its course is really very different